1923, New York City came to a stop when Harry Houdini performed his famous straight jacket escape. This morning we have added a crane, some fire, and magician Harley Newman to give you our version of Houdini's famous trick. Harley, as you see, is a little tied up right now. <laughs> so we asked fellow magician Jamie to come back and describe what Harley is about Thanks, to do. Katie. Hi, Jamie. Well, Harley Newman holds a number of world records for dangerous stunts, some so dangerous that even the Guinness Book wouldn't include them. In this case, he's been strapped into a regulation straitjacket, which is still used today legally under federal jurisdiction. Something that Harry Houdini did, never did, though, was set fire to this rope. Now, the record for getting out of a, rec of a normal jacket like this, a regulation jacket, is about one minute. We're hoping that Harry, uh, Harley's going to be able to beat that. We know he can get out. We hope he can get out in time. But what's life and death, of course, is this fire. It takes about a minute and a half to burn through that rope. But there's no exact way to know how long it's going to take. And whether you're hanging from a bridge or 100 feet over Rockefeller Center, obviously, disaster rains. If that rope burns through, we're talking death or irreparable injury. Oh, and the moment he reaches the top, we're going to see a clock, and he's going to start to try to escape from that jacket. Now, you'll see there's a fire extinguisher up there also once he gets out of the jacket. And now he starts. We should have a clock. Here we go. We have the clock on the screen. Okay, great. Now, once he gets out, he'll still have to extinguish the flame. Now, Harley Newman is more than just an escape artist. He's really a man who confronts fear. Not just his own fears, but our fears, because you know, Katie, you and I, even since we were kids, we're afraid of heights. We're afraid of being constrained, of trapped. We're afraid of fire. We're he's afraid afraid of all things. He's out of the jacket. Wow. And that is definitely a world record. But now all he has to do is get the... He's, he seems to have... He's supposed to be able to reach the fire extinguisher. This is running much too long. Look, he's removed his... Oh, I see. He's removed his belt so he can get to the rope. He's at the extinguisher now. He can't have much more time with that rope burning like that. My goodness, I hope he gets that extinguisher. Come on, Harley. Come on, man. Yes. Yes, this is it. All right. This week, thanks to Warp Sports at, in Freedom, Pennsylvania, at the Zap Amateur Open Tournament. And of course, you can get tickets to Monday Night Magic by calling Ticketmaster anytime. Holly Newman, ladies and gentlemen, what a guy. Now, with all due respect, what kind of nut would do this for a living? Well, a very special kind of nut. A nut like Harry Houdini, who first saw someone, a patient, trying to escape from a jacket in Nova Scotia in a mental hospital, and that's where Harry Houdini got the idea of trying to escape from a jacket. Wow. Now, were you really nervous that he was going to run I out really, of time? I really, I never saw him do this thing with the belt to try and get to the rope. Because he's supposed to be, I, I, something with the crate, he's supposed to be closer to that rope, so. Yay, Harley. <laughs> Harley, 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 how you doing? I'm good. We're, it's we're it's a little for, dizzy up there when I, you start spinning. I was going to say, was it a little nerve-wracking up there? Jamie sounded nervous. I'm not sure if it's part of the act. Oh, or... he's good. He always sounds that way. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, when nervous. you do things like this, it's like solving a puzzle. So every time there's a different piece of puzzle, you have to figure out how to fit it together. Now, and... how did you get into this in the first place, Harley? How did you become well... interested in this kind of act? I started out as a circus clown and I got sidetracked a couple of times and then decided, well, I know how to do a lot of sideshow things and I like escapes, so I'll see what I can do with that. When I asked That's you if I, I could do. compare you to Harry Houdini, you didn't like that much because you say Houdini relied on... Well, he used a lot of trickery. That's okay. I mean, if he was doing something like that, like this, he usually had a crew of about a half dozen people helping him out somehow. Yeah. And, you know, I'm glad to have friends, but when I'm up there, I'm alone. You're all on your own. Well, we have very, an instant replay very different of your trip. Get the heck out of us. Thank you. <laughs> that was the whole job. idea. I know. I didn't so, like being Have you ever there. had an incredibly close call, Harley? Seriously? Other well, than this morning, of course. You, you know, close is an interesting term. It's a very relative thing. So. For me, close is very different than what other people might think of because, as close. Yeah, you look at fear in the face, you look fear in the face, and you, and laugh. you laugh at fear. Well, I, I, it's a puzzle. There's a way of seeing through it. And, you know, in our society, we're trained to be scared with fairly predictable patterns. So I can look at myself 
and see those patterns in myself and try to, you know, work my way through some of them. Little mind over matter going on. Yeah, except with my mind it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks so much, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day, everybody.